Hey guys, so this is another update video. This time it's for Luna. And uh, yeah, we do have a few things that we have to cover here. Because there have been some changes. The very first change we got to talk about is this. They added this cool animation. <laughs> Much better than the weird legs, huh? <laughs> yeah, who can forget those legs, man? So, any <laughs> so anyway. Okay, 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 okay. The very th first thing we have to cover is um, the devs uh, did a change, I would say like a nerf, that uh, when um, before Luna would die and everybody would still be able to counter, but now if you kill Luna, you, uh, everybody else will not counter. So that's a really big nerf that, that she has now for, with her ability. So if you see Luna and you are able to kill her first, which is not going to be easy, you're gonna see different teams are gonna try to protect her in different ways but if you kill her first the other enemies will not be able to counter so that's a very important uh, point there that you have to know the other point is that on F3 you know on war uh, the field that gives you two additional um, turns for for using the stack well her if, if you have her plus five uh, her 100% dodge thing uh, do does get two additional turns so that is pretty crazy but since she is going to be one life and if you and use if you use normal stones uh, that hero or, or or even Luna when after they revive they're gonna die because that that doesn't miss uh, but the turn in which you actually get immortality it's still one turn as usual but the you do get three turns of 100% dodge so I'm gonna show you a video about that uh, so you can get a better idea Dark magic. No quarter for traitors. No quarter for traitors. Unwavering hope. Dark magic. Dark magic. Not ready for a fight yet. Prince. 
So yeah, uh, a few of our guildies actually had some problems killing that. Imagine reviving and then having dodge for three turns, it's, it, it is pretty crazy. But if you're in this, that same situation, you can just uh, do a connection that is not of the color that you're playing. For example, if you're playing yellow, use any other color that is not yellow. That one damage will kill that hero if they do not have any shields. In the video I showed that as well. So something that you have been noticing with Luna is if you go an attacker, attacker like normal mindlessly, you will get wrecked. No matter how powerful you are, you will get wrecked. And uh, uh, today in my war, I actually noticed this. Um, I went in pretty cocky because um, uh, this guild here, bless their hearts, their they their power is pretty low. Uh, so we're we're pretty much uh, going there. But I attacked this guy, which is 129k, and I use my three um, 209k. Uh, red team because uh, that was my last team there so I'm gonna show you that right now it's actually pretty funny but uh, it, it's actually good that I'm able to to do uh, some of these um, with commentary here we go this is the fight here uh, ta -ta -ta. see there was a lot of damage there and you're gonna see in a second it is pretty crazy so I just came here as I usually do. How I usually use my red team, usually. And remember, this is an 100. See, they're not doing a lot of damage because Thor is going to protect them a lot. Um, but I attack like I usually do. And remember, this is um, F4. Everybody's going to get extra attack in this situation. He is going to get a bunch of attack. Yeah, you can see it that it's going to be a really big da difference here. And he's using his weapon, so critical damage 100%. That's pretty crazy, too. So I'm just doing my snipping. I'm always doing all my usual attacks here. You know, minding my own business. Because uh, since he's such a difference in power, I'm not expecting anything. Let's beat this up a little bit. Alright. Nothing, nothing to look here. Just your usual fight. Look at that. When that happened... Ugh, look at that, I'm dying. I'm almost almost 100k difference in power and I'm dying. I was, I, when this happened, I was like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, let, let's play better, you know? <laughs> so I tried to target um, this guy over here that doesn't have any anything. Re do remember that uh, this Luna is, is, is plus 5. So he's she's gonna revive everybody, including uh, Deed Light over here. So I have to wait a turn uh, here, or somebody's gonna get damage. Unless I'm really feeling even more cocky. Come on. There we go. Finally, I decide to attack and I still get countered. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just passed the turn there. Because that, in in a no, if this guy was even stronger, look at that, I'm dying. If this guy was even stronger than he is, he would have killed my heroes already. So this is a really big mistake that I that I did here, and I hope you don't do it as well. Ah. Oh my god! <laughs> but now finally the nightmare is over. So here, you know, I'm just uh, oh yeah. There we go. Finally. <laughs> so I hope I hope my mistake uh, shows you how not to attack Luna. Cause uh, if you actually go mindlessly and go in attacking Luna like that, you're you're not gonna be yeah, you're not gonna be in a good situation. So yeah, that's the update for Luna for now. Um, be careful fighting against her. You can go mindlessly uh, attacking. Uh, her because uh, she will counter and she will murder you and if and if you have the habit of playing um, in war at 3x speed like minusly you just connect everybody 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 you're going to fail so you have to you have to um, think of a better way to actually attack I, I and war I always attack in 1x 
because I like to be strategic and things like that. And I don't want this to happen. <laughs> Alright guys, I forgot to mention about Awakening, so I do recommend uh, getting her to plus one. As a lower level um, fighting, uh, in other words, when my, uh, with my account, which is Cleanup Corp, I fight against somebody that has her plus one and she is a nightmare to try to take out. If I don't use a Samuel with my green team, it's game over. <laughs> Really, so the best way to actually defeat uh, Luna here is with single target strong attacks. That's the best way to actually take her out. Uh, multi multi hit, it's not a good idea versus Luna. I don't recommend it at all. So again, with awakenings, if you want to get her awakened, get her to plus one because plus one will change her a lot. That's 20% dodge and the 50% attack that that makes her a killing machine, even a plus one. So I do recommend her to get her to plus one. If you get her to plus three, excellent. She will survive a lot more. Um, however, if you get her to plus one and you give, give her a weapon that will help her survive, like a shield weapon, like um, Malfort's weapon, Survivor's weapon, and things like that, uh, that actually helps you a lot, uh, for sure. So if you can get her to plus three, that's fine, but the main one is the plus one. And if you're lucky enough, or have enough resources, plus five is a game changer. That's going to enable so many heroes. So, so many heroes, for sure. And uh, it, it really, and in, there's, and in F3, that is, that is too powerful. So, yeah. I... If you're able to, go for plus five. And a lot of people have been waiting for the next amazing defense hero. And Luna does feel feel that um that bill very well because uh the best defense is a good offense and sh her offense is killer <laughs> for sure so yeah i definitely recommend uh getting this hero getting her awakened upgrade as much as possible uh yeah not even the the higher level guilds are able to ignore this one everybody's trying to get her at high level well most people but and the people that don't have her are are complaining about her so yeah i highly recommend her guys well, i hope this helps guys uh yeah luna is here to stay and uh if you're not careful she will yeah she will do that and much more all right thank you very much for watching have a great day guys bye bye